Welcome to week six of wildlife management. Wildlife management can take two different approaches. A traditional approach based on experience and an experimental technical approach where new methods are tested. Both have their merits and limitations. In chapter 16, the authors demonstrate how to evaluate a technical judgment by presenting it as a hypothesis or a question. You will learn how to state these questions as a negative or null hypothesis and how to choose an experimental design to test the hypothesis without making either a type 1 or type 2 error. Be sure to read the chapter summary for the eight basic principles of experimental design. Conservation in theory explores the how and why populations become extinct. In part, the theory deals with population extinction as a consequence of low numbers and the difficulties facing a population when it becomes small. It also looks at the extinction processes brought about by a permanent, deleterious change in the population's environment. Demography deals with the probability of individuals living or dying, and if they live, the probability that they will reproduce. Those individual probabilities, accumulated over all individuals in the population, determine what the population as a whole will do next, whether it will increase, decrease, or remain the same size. Three effects can influence the population outcome underlain by those individual probabilities. Individual variation, short-term environmental variation, and environmental change. Population viability analyses, or PVAs, can help determine the probability of a population going extinct over a given time span. Demographic or environmental stochasticity are less common means of extinction, whereas habitat modification, usually in the form of some new introduction into the environment that alters the habitat, is a more common means by which populations go extinct. Extinctions are divided into two categories. Driven extinction occurs when a population's environment undergoes a change for the worst. Catastrophes, natural or man-made. And the population's rate of increase falls below zero. The other is stochastic extinction, which occurs when populations are too low to recover from the effects of chance events. Extinction from demographic malfunction, or from genetic malfunction which occurs when a population at low numbers for several generations loses heterozygosity, resulting in the expression of recessive semi-lethal genes. In the latter case, the average fitness of the population decreases and the population heads for extinction. Wildlife managers cannot hope to rescue declining populations until the reasons for the decline are well understood and removed from the equation.